Hi friends, today in this video, let us discuss the basic program of LaTeX. Okay, let us see how the basic required softwares has to be downloaded and how we need to utilize the utilize the same software for writing the basic program in LaTeX. Okay, let us discuss these things in a br brief manner but with great clarity. Okay, let us see in a step by step manner. I like to continue this video and this lecture in two different modes. One is the PPT mode while I was showing the PPT to you and the second one is the programming mode. So parallelly I am doing the programming also. I will show the same thing how the LaTeX will work out and how the what is the basic things in LaTeX. Let us quickly go to the Hmm. lecture so the basic contents are like this one is uh, features of latex first we need to discuss why we need need to shift from ppt so why we are shifting towards latex so what is the advantage of the latex okay let's discuss these things in this thing features of latex download and install miktek miktek is the uh, basic and write basic LaTeX documents using TechWorks, Syntax highlighting and compiling the document and there are some document classes. So these are the basic contents in this today's lecture. So this is very easy because why we are going to LaTeX means see these are the different features of LaTeX. The first feature is it is an excellent typesetting software so it is very easy to do many formatting things okay when compared to ms word it's very easy thing to compile i mean to make the changes to um, put the figures and to put the tables it's very easy for us to do to go ahead with the latex when compared to the other softwares it's free and open source. This is a free source and it's an open source so we can use it directly from the internet. It's available on all operating systems like Windows, Mac and Linux. It has outstanding features of automatic numbering of equations, chapters, sections, figures, equations and tables. So this is the basic advantage of the LaTeX. So it will give the automatic numbering. So we should not give any numbering for that. So it will give automatically depending upon the journal or depending upon the our class type. And it's easy to produce bibliography with changeable format. So for bibliography also it's very easy to make it and for changeable formats we can change the formats also. It's very easy thing. So with LaTeX, the writer can concentrate more on content generation and logical sequence of ideas. As the LaTeX will take care of each and everything. So whatever we have, that means the formatting and all these things. So the writer can have more concentration on only the content generation and the logical sequence of ideas. So lot of time will be utilized and minimized in writing a journal paper or a conference paper. That's the main advantage of LaTeX. So let us quickly see how a basic program can be done in LaTeX. Let's go ahead. Now first, download and install MicTech. So let us see how the MicTech software will be downloaded. Actually, MicTech is a distributor. So there are two types of softwares we need to have to get the LaTeX or to proceed with the latex programming those two softwares are one is the distributor and second one is the editor distributor means this is the basic distributor so the whole content of latex and the latest latex updates and implementations everything will be everything will be stored in the distributor and there is one more software called editor where we can edit each and everything based on those based on using those packages of MicTech or the distributor. So this is the basic distributor MicTech and there are so many editors are there but TechWorks is the 
default editor with miktex so this is somewhat advantageous compared to other editors because if we go to other editors we need to download the software but here there is no no need to download it's a default editor okay let us see uh, how miktex works will work if we download miktex okay let us go ahead with that also so go to miktex.org and go to downloads and download the required file for your system operating system that means based on your operating system you need to download the file and based on bit rating also if it is 64 bit your system is of 64 bit please download the 64 bit of software and if it is 32 bit so download the 32 bit of software everything is available in it okay no problem for that yeah this is very important point in, in general for if you download the mictech.org it it may not support uh, till the end okay it may exit at the middle of the downloading so if that occurs so please resume from then only that means for example if it is having oh, for example it is having 120 mb of size after 20 mb it may quit that means it may be stopped then you need to click the resume button so that it will start from the 20th mb only then it it may go ahead up to maybe 40 mb or 50 mb it will be continuing like that okay this is the my i can't say it's a drawback but this is the thing what i have observed so please go ahead then you can easily download the thing okay don't quit at any any point of time because if it is for example if it is downloaded up to 20 mb if you quit it and if you start the downloading from this starting onwards then it will download up to 20 mb only and then it will be quitted okay that's the problem so please take care and please do proper downloading if you download it properly that that's sufficient for for us to go ahead with latex program okay let's see how we can download this miktex yeah please go here and uh, type miktex that's all yeah this is miktex.org so go to this place and see here this is the download so you can click on this yeah there are lot of facilities here so many soft operating systems is, are visible here one is windows mac linux docker and some other things also here you can see all downloads for example if your system is not 64 bit system this is for 64 bit okay so this is the installer so you can install this on windows come here and please click download so that you can download this file then this file is for 64 bit if you want to download it for a 32 bit 32 bit system you need to go ahead with all downloads here go to all downloads and you can see basic installer for 32 bit okay in this way you have lot of uh, varieties of software here so you can see which one is suitable for you based on the operating system and based on the bit rate okay the, in this way we need to download the miktex as i have already downloaded the miktex so i am not proceeding with that and so i can directly start programming okay let us again go to our ppt yes this is the thing so this is the this is how we need to download and install miktex software now okay syntax highlighting so let us move on to programming then we can easily identify and how it will work and all these things we can go to all programs and we can simply type miktex here once you got this you can see there is a tech box here this is the default editor of miktex so you can simply click on it so all these all the programs from tech box so let me open one thing here open it opens we can write the program here so let me write the program document 
class article and I need to begin begin the document I need to begin the document and I need to end document yeah in between I can write something for example Namaste welcome to latex playlist in my YouTube channel yeah this is what I like to print here so this is the how we need to write the program and let us see what are these things in a bit later and first we need to compile it so control T is the command to compile it so before that we need to save this program let me save this as program 1 okay yes yeah this is the program 1 see how it will be yeah this is the PDF created based on our program so this PDF is a default version of TechWorks and TechWorks is the default editor of MicTech so to go ahead with LaTeX software we have only one software that is MicTech software that's all no need to install any other software so with MicTech TechWorks is the editor and that will come as a default version and with PDF also it can also come with the TechWorks as default version. So these are the advantages of MicTech software and now let us cleanly observe this program. First we, we have so many document classes maybe article is there, letter is there, some other things are there. If you if you suppose write a new type of class you can go ahead with that also you can simply write in this article that means in this place you can write your already designed software I mean designed type of class document class in that way so many document classes are there here we are using article type of document class and first in this way we need to find begin and end document in between these two we need to write something and that will be printed in the pdf that is the exact thing of this programming now let us see one thing as you have observed here if i type in a wrong manner like this the color has been changed in the another thing and that color should not be changed so what how we can do it that means uh, what is this coloring this color become blue if you have observed in this program there are some different colors for the different things one is document class that is in blue color and the second one is for begin document and end document that is in green color and whatever whatever we are typing that is in black color so how this coloring will come so this is called syntax coloring and let us see how this syntax coloring will come for example I have typed something and I want to know the syntax coloring for this so for to get the syntax coloring of this program only we need to go to format syntax coloring and we need to type we need to set it as letter so it can automatically color your program so what is advantage of this coloring for example document class is the basic syntax and for begin and end document the syntax coloring is blue green for example if i have forgotten the brackets i mean curled braces with normal braces then it will show you in blue color so it shows that this is wrong okay that's why this coloring is very important yeah for example if we have unable to type this then 
it is showing in the black color only that means this is wrong so you can type like this so this is the advantage of syntax coloring so how this is the procedure to put the syntax coloring for this program for example if we want the same thing for the further programming also how we need to set it here we need to go to edit and preferences go to editor and put syntax coloring here and that should be latex like this so this is the system so in this way we can get the syntax coloring for the further programs also whatever we are doing whatever program we are doing in this particular computer okay that is the thing so this is called syntax coloring so in this way we can write the program and we can see the syntax coloring also and there is one more thing here this is one green button is appeared here type say in this can be can also be pressed for for our compiling okay so compiling can be done in two ways one is pressing green color or control plus t okay this is the basic programming of latex so please remember for latex we need to install only miktex that is the basic distributor so we should definitely have an editor of course the techworks is the editor which is coming as a default version with the miktex miktex so no need to install any other editors so that is the very simple latex program and let us go back to ppt so what we have left out so this is the syntax highlighting as i have already we have already discussed so if you have syntax highlighting for the coming i mean for the same program go to format syntax coloring and put it as latex that's all and if you want the syntax highlighting for the further programs also you need to proceed like this go to edit preferences editor syntax coloring and put it as latex that's all very simple concept and for the next yeah next thing is compiling as we have already discussed it is control plus t or you can press the green button and a pdf will be open and that pdf is the default version of techbox okay in this way we can start do start doing our latex program and in the tomorrow's class let us go ahead with equations or figures and reports also okay in tomorrow's class let me concentrate only on reports where we can have sections and we can have the num proper numbering we can have the contents everything will be done okay so tomorrow class is dedicated to report writing okay let's go ahead with the report writing okay thank you so much for careful listening and thanks for your patience and please like this video if you like it and please share this video with your friends and family and please subscribe to my youtube channel and kindly press the bell button if you want the notifications from my youtube channel thank you thank you so much